Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be going to play British Railway again, seeing as you supported the last video that I did on this game lots. So, but today I'm going to be uh, be going on to the guard roll, as that's what I said I would do last time. So, I have already driven. Now I have actually got a new train since then but I might drive that in another video so if you want to see that then make sure to support this video anyway so um, we're gonna be a guard so at the moment there's no trains at the moment um, but I'm just going to message my friend as I am getting help so Krabby is helping me today record this video so um, that's just a shout out for him but I will get back to you once I've got in I started guarding him right so Krabby just spawned a train so as you can see when I actually click on the guard menu you can select a train now if there were more trains in this server I'd be able to select the train but here you can see he's going to Longbow. Oh, his next station is Longbow and destination is Leeton. Anyway, so we're going to join this. Now, the black screen is just while the guard request is accepted, but here you can see the guard request is accepted. And you can also see he's in a class 156, which is different to the starting train. Anyway, so here you can see he's starting to go. So, basically, what you can do as a guard you can just walk around so use WSD you can also use like it depends on what which way you're facing so if you're facing that way you use W and you use S to go the other way depends on when you, where your camera is facing really and then if you're facing like this way you can use D to go that way and A to go that way so you're able to walk the train and if I go to the other carriage you will see that I click the button next carriage and it goes on to the next carriage so that's definitely a nice feature and it basically means they've done it in a way so that you can be standing like you can walk in a moving train which I think is quite clever and actually on Krabby screen um, on their screen though they will be able to see you moving in and out like through the train so yeah but also what you can do if you wanted to I am just gonna go to the back of the train to do this um, if you go to the back of the train if you click the seats it, it's a bit fiddly but you can actually sit down there we go so now I'll sit down and to get out you press space Anyway, so we're just approaching our first station. And you'll be able to see one part of what we can do as a guard. So you can just see he's stopping. Right, and now he's stopped. You can see we can open the guard panel. So we open the panel. And then we can choose what door. You can do this at any door. But then you need to unlock the panel, which is, I think, what quite a lot of people don't do. And then you've got the bit above that like, tells you what to do. You can also click the buttons here. It's exactly the same as SCR pretty much after you've unlocked the panel. Anyway, and then you release all the other doors and you can see all the trains, like all the passengers going on. And you control everything. You control like when you close the doors and everything. But we're just going to see this person go on. Right, so now we're going to close the doors. So the doors are now closed, we're going to enter the train and close our local door. So as you can see, very nice door animations. And you can buzz the driver and they'll buzz back. Now, as you can already see, here is one of the features that's different to SCR as a guard. You now can check their tickets. So 
on the date that I'm recording this, it's the 17th of January. So you can see 17th of January, we've just stopped at Longbow. So this guy's coming from Longbow to Leeton and this look, everything looks fine. So I can prove this, but there will be some tickets that can't be approved. Uh, but I'll try and find one and I'll probably cut to when I, could, I found one. Right, so here we go. So I just found one that isn't valid. So as you can see, from Long Road to Marion, but it says date of travels 15th, which has definitely already been by the time this video comes out. So I can now reject. Now I don't actually know what happens when you reject, but you just reject it. I'm assuming they probably have to get up on the next stop. You can check that actually. But I'm just gonna continue going through this carriage until we get to the next station. Right, so we're at the next station. We're gonna do the same. Unlocking the panel, releasing local door. We're gonna leave the train. We're gonna release all the other doors. Now you do actually get coins as a guard. I think you get five per stop, which isn't as much compared to driving. So it's not like you can't really be a guard and drive a lot. But anyway, one feature that there is that is an optional feature is the whistle so in FCR you have to whistle but in this game and in British Railway you need it's like optional so I can hold it to blow it and close the doors and then I can whistle again and then it's the train it, it's an optional feature the whistle you don't have to do it but sometimes I do it sometimes I don't now I have found that with being a guard not a lot of people know how to guard in this game so I've declined a lot of my guard requests but I think over time that will change and people will know how to guard I didn't figure it out straight away oh here we can see there's another invalid ticket I didn't know how to guard straight away I figured it out pretty quickly some people were taking slightly longer to figure it out but there we go another ticket we need to reject but it's fine oh and another ticket uh, but uh, it will it will take time for people to figure out how to do it and there's another ticket that needs rejecting but I think the guard features it's nice that it's free to everyone you don't have to do it and attend the training or anything I do think there could be a better tutorial because yeah, you have the bit at the top of the screen, but you don't actually have the part that says to to unlock the panel, which I think if they added that, then it would be much easier to know what to do. But it's because they don't have that, it's quite hard to know what to do. Like when you go, go to a door and open guard panel, you, it doesn't tell you to unlock the panel. So it tells you to go to a door, but it doesn't actually tell you to unlock the panel. So I think that's definitely something they could add. Hopefully if the devs watch this video, they'll be able to implement that. As you can see, we just got some coins. Don't actually know how much, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out when we get to stop at the next station. Well, I'll probably cut to that. And we can find out how many coins I've got. Right, so we're now just uh, approaching Merion. And we're going to find out how many coins I actually get for doing one station. Like guarding at the train for one station. And we'll see how many coins we get. As it will be interesting to see. Then anyway, we're just going to wait for the train to stop. And there we go. This time we're opening the, op the other door. As you can see. And leave the train, open the other doors. And quite a few people are leaving. As you can see. And while, while the doors are open, you can walk around if you want to. I don't see why you would. In SCR, it's kind of a rule that you don't. But honestly, I don't care. <laughs> and I don't think many people in this game care. Anyway, so we were on 97, we're now on 98. So it might depend on. Um, it might depend on like how many passengers leave and how many passengers you've like done and now I think I've just got 
five coins. So I think you might get, it looks like you get five coins every station you stop at and then you get like a few coins depending on how many passengers you've like checked I'm assuming. I might be completely wrong on that but from what I've seen that looks like the case. Another feature though that I haven't actually shown off but there is, you can do is you can change your local door so on some trains, so on the class 142, but on the four car versions, like of course that's basically two trains coupled together. Now in that you wouldn't be able to check the tickets of the front two if you're in the back two coaches. So basically it allows you to then change your local door so you can move to the other train, like to the front of the train, so you can then check the tickets in that. So you can do that if you want to. Anyway, we're just coming up to Leeton. Hopefully Crabby's gonna do a good stop and not hit the buffers. But hitting the buffers, it doesn't despawn your train. So there's not much effect. But we're just pulling into the station now. But in terms of just like a quick view of this train, it is a good looking train. I like the quality, the seat patterns are nice. And the livery definitely has been applied very well. Like it could be different for some liveries, but it, it looks good. Anyway, so it's just stopping. Pretty perfect stop. Gonna open the panel. Oh, and we also need to unlock. See, this, this is the thing, it's quite hard to know. And we're gonna release the train, the release the doors. So, how many points are we getting from that? How many coins? So, it doesn't look like we've got any. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, we can switch to local door. So, if Crabby then did to continue, I don't know if he will or not, but then we can switch to local door. But yeah, that's that's the role of a guard. It, uh, as you can see, it is a pretty good, well-made feature, and I do like you can check the tickets. I'm assuming Krabby's probably. Yeah, I'm just letting Krabby know he can despawn. But yeah, so that's the role of the guard. I'm gonna go back to the menu now. But that was the role of guard. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, in the next video, I'll probably be comparing British Railway and SCR as I think that's the kind of video that would be good to compare both games. But also, there is actually a feature which I, don't, I might show off in a future video or on stream, but you can actually, um, there's like a challenge mode as a passenger and you can like explore, we might explore some stations in the next video. Um, or on stream. I will be streaming later today, so if you do want to join, I will be playing British Railway. So you can join that, it will be at 7.30 GMT, I believe I set, set it to. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you show your support by liking the video, also subscribe. There are, there are weekly videos every Friday, and I might even do some YouTube shorts as well, showing off some content. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.